go where they are requested or where they are led to by uh, divine purpose to assist in any trouble or wrongdoing, resolving conflicts. It's not a large order, but they are quite uh, wealthy. They've got a lot of uh, famous deeds, a lot of famous artifacts that are known to use in their travels. Jombi uh, must be one of which. I mean, this is a very finely made famous. celestial sword. It was uh, Saint Leoric, but you also uh, you actually heard of him. He's done one or two things, but you've never met him, but he's a fairly well-known folk hero. He's also known by the name John Baptiste. So, um, so yeah, I guess I'll take this guy as sword back because that's what one knight should do for another, right? So, um, if you're going to be using this sword, it's a long sword. Um, I don't know what weapon you're using at the moment. A long sword. Oh, okay, so okay. you just have another long sword. Okay, so mechanically speaking, this sword is great because what it does is it gives you plus one extra on attack rolls and plus one extra on damage. And then it may or may not have other special effects for you to discover. Alright, um... That sounds weird, but... Like... Normally you wouldn't use another man's gun if you found it, right? So I don't think... I don't know that I'd use another man's sword. Uh... I mean... Your decision. You You're can use your old, your old trusty longsword. That's you can so just weird. carry it in a scabbard as a spare. It's your decision whether you use it or not. It is, it is very finely made. It is very well balanced, very well made sword. Yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll use this sword. Okay, why not? You're also I, doing I'm, him quite a favor, returning well, him to his master. I don't have this sort of special ability. Like any magic ability, but the talking sword. Like, we'll find out. I don't have the ability to identify it, but some one of you may. I am back. I apologize for that. No worries, but fine. Yeah, the sword is cursed. It's British. Whoa! 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 I know it was Traitor's Day recently, but like, come on, guys. <laughs> Alright. So what All happened right. in my absence? Uh, they uh, just discussed the sword. Okay. Yeah, I told the sword I'd take it home. I, uh, have all my gear and yep. equipment attached. Everyone's tab, got all their stuff back. It's all on. staff by my side. Yeah, so I, uh, I don't get to sneak anymore because I'm wearing a giant sheet of ringed mail now. Uh, so you have really disadvantage on stealth rolls, is how it works. I pick up my loot. And I very lovingly stroke it in the most seductive manner possible. <laughs> okay. Do you want to roll performance to try and turn anyone on? Sure, yeah. Okay, roll some performance. Alright. I got a 15. Nice. Uh, was, was this directed at anyone in particular, or was it just a general, if anyone just happened to be watching? Performance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Karn, Karn, you yes. would love to see what she can do with that uh, instrument. And my fingers. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can believe that. That seems very in character. <laughs> this right here, this majestic. Kind of creepy baby with a half elf and a dwarf make. Material right here. <laughs> His okay. name. So, what are we doing next? We've got our equipment back. What are we doing? His name is what? Usher. 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 Lord Usher. Lord Usher. Oh. Oh. Maybe you just zoomed Usher yeah. here. <laughs> Maybe it got a little damaged when it was put in the room. Not sure what's wrong with you, Usher. I'll take care of you, boy. Take care of you. I, f I feel like it's time to go. I feel like <laughs> I am okay. with the paladin for this one. <laughs> which, I, uh, like which of the two exits that you found do you want to take? Do you want to go room with all the drunken dwarves merrymaking, or do you want to go through the room where they're all sleeping? No, I want to go to the room where they're all awake. Oh. Hell yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a man. It's time to fucking fight. This is what we Let's do. Let's do it. Do you just <laughs> charge in, <laughs> like, sword out, shield at the ready, screaming, yeah, or...? Oh, okay. God. Oh, God. Okay, friends. It is time... 
It is time for the most exciting part of any D&D game. It is time to roll initiative. Oh god, my dexterity, no. What do we roll that with? 10, right? Uh, it's a d20, d20 plus your oh, dex Lord. modifier. d20 uh, plus dex oh. modifier plus initiative modifier? Okay. Uh, initiative is your dex modifier. I got a 5. Uh, so it's the same. So I got a 12. I got a, I got a 3. Holy really shit. I'll be last. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Cyrus is got four, and then I'm just missing Shira. Sorry, what did you get? I got five. Okay, Shira on five. Okay, so despite their drunken stupor, the goblins are fairly quick to react when Cyrus leaps into the room. So the first one, I'm gonna leave these gonna run up to Cyrus, he's gonna draw a little blade from a pouch in his belt, and he's going to try and slice at Cyrus's head. Oh, try not to fall over, that'd be great. Okay, so he's making an attack roll against you, Grant. Uh, Cyrus, what is your armor class? 18. Okay, he swings his blade at you. And it just glances off your chainmail. Bar- you barely even notice it. It just slides, makes a screeching noise as it goes diagonally down against you. And you can see him look kind of like, kind of, did he misjudge it? He's like tottering on his feet. He's really quite drunk indeed. Uh, the other three have kind of wobbled towards you guys, also blades drawn. Uh, after the goblins, it is going to be Car. What do you do on your turn, Car? Uh, I will angrily swing the warhammer that I picked up in that room at them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so currently you are here. Okay. You can see my finger. Oops, just about there. So, what sort is your of. movement speed? My movement speed is 25. Okay, so you can move five squares. Diagonally, it, it, it counts as one. So, do you want me to move you five towards the combat? Yes, please. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now, you can. Actually, because of how the square is organized, you can actually hit uh, goblin number one from here, the one that tried to hit Grath. So you feel free to swing your warhammer at him. To do that, you roll your d20, and then plus strength, modifier, plus strength and uh, proficiency modifier to make the attack. Right. I roll a 23, Jesus Christ. Nice. Go to, go to what, sorry? I rolled a 23. I assume it was a deep. Did you get a 20 on the die roll? I did. Like a natural oh, 20. Shit, I got that's a, natural a crit. 20. First roll of the. Woo! You've never played DD before. First ever attack roll, you crit. Holy shit, dude. Okay, so rolling a crit, yeah. which is a natural 20, is like fucking awesome in DD. So okay. that means that whatever you are doing, you automatically succeed in the best possible way. When it comes to doing damage, uh, your weapon is what, like a, a D8 plus something? Or a D10 uh, it's plus a something? Warhammer, I believe it's a, it's a D8 plus 3 bludgeoning if I'm using it one handed, which I presumably am. Okay, so instead of being 1D8 plus 3, you get to double any die rolls. So instead of being 1D8 plus 3, you get to do 2D8 plus 3 damage. Alright, so let me. <laughs> Uh, so, a total of 10. So Karn, desperate to get towards the booze, brings his warhammer over his head and smashes it down into the skull of this goblin, which just cracks and shifts through his neck into his body and he just kind of falls into the floor, a misshapen mess of a goblin, and he is completely out of the picture. Congratulations! Oh, Done. Okay, so after Karn, it is Celeste. Alright, um, I can move six spaces. I have a speed of 30, so I would like to get into the doorway so that I can see around it as much as possible. One, two, three, four, five here or there? That's, um, back. Okay. Yes. It's on the back. Um, and I can see the goblin behind the bar. Yeah, you've got line of sight on the one behind the bar. Shit, I only have 15 feet. How far is that guy? That guy is 5, 10, let's call it 20 feet. Okay, um, then I would like to hold my action until someone is close enough for me to attack. 
Do you do anything else? Um, nope, just holding and waiting. Okay, so next it is Shira Denira. Shake those Alright, I want to move to where I can see somebody. Oh. Where I can see somebody. Okay. Um, so you could move up here, if that's good with you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Whichever one I see, probably the one behind the bar. The one behind the bar. I'm gonna bar. go ahead and cast Vicious Mockery at it. And nice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm a fighting with you. You little stupid ass goblin, I'm fighting with you. <laughs> you little dumb ass goblin, I'm a fight with you. I got a million trillion things I'd rather fucking do, but I'm a fight with you, you stupid little ab. Nice. For your for your <laughs> services rendered to role playing, I'm award you a point of inspiration. <laughs> yes. Okay. And what? Okay. Hey, yeah, what? What did you get? Sorry. I got a one. A one. One damage. Okay. Yeah, so the goblin hears it and. and he, didn't really get it. You spoke a bit too quickly for him in his drunken state, but he's clearly kind of shocked and taken aback by the words that you spoke to him. So uh, he took some damage and he also has disadvantage on his next attack roll, right? Yep. Okay, great. So after Shira, it is Cyrus. You're back in the game. Uh, let's see. I will move in front of all of these women and the dwarf because he's a major. And, uh, I'll probably attack the one on the left, I think. That okay, feels so good. Move up to here. Okay, so make an attack roll. Remember, you get an extra plus one for longsword from uh, the fact that you're using Jombi. And you hear him in your in your head say, "Die, even." Uh, let's see. I rolled a fourteen. Fourteen plus, or is that after plus? But that draw my plus. Oh, you barely miss him. He scrapes off his arm guard. For those of you wondering what a goblin looks like in D&D, I can hold up the picture in the monster manual. These are the goblins that they are facing. Nice. Yuck. Very nice. That's the forehead I just missed. Yeah, he just barely, barely, barely didn't hit him. So, uh, do you do anything else on your turn? Use your uh, just position thing. myself to make sure that they can't get past me. Uh, to them in that doorway. Well, if you want to move back to really cover the doorway, you're going to provoke an, ac an attack of opportunity as you step uh, away from him. Let me just stand here then. How about that? That's okay. fine. Cool. So after Cyrus, we are back up to the top round to the goblin. So the goblins are going to crowd around to this Cyrus character. Like so. And damn, they are going yeah. to... Oh, damn. Oh. Celeste in so with the spell. I held my action, um, so did. I'm going to use. He's within 15 feet. Yes, five, ten. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm going to use a lightning lure, which I'll read. Uh, so your DC is my spell save, which is 14. He got a 16. Oh. Sadly passed. Does anything happen Nothing on the pass? Nothing happens. No. Your crack of lightning fails to connect with the target. Throws it off. Uh, and sadly you have no effect, That's but okay. it's just a, uh, just we get to make three attacks against Cyrus. Uh, 18 AC, right buddy? Yes sir. Okay, so that's a miss, and a miss, and a hit! So two of you, you masterfully deflect two of their attacks, but the third one gets you right in the chest, and he's going to roll some damage against you. He's attacking with a scimitar, so that is going to be four damage of the slashing kind against you. No now, if way. I remember correctly, you took a feat called Heavy Armor Master, so you get to I reduce did. that by three to one. We could have taken a feat? Uh, he's a human, and you took oh, that variant. Right, right. So it didn't hurt me very much. Yeah, you, don't, you only took one damage overall. Okay, so, after the goblins, who are largely ineffective, probably due to their drunken state, we are back to Karn. Well, it looks like I'm just back around the corner, so I'm gonna turn around the corner and charge screaming towards the nearest one. Okay, so you can move up to here. Just push your way past uh, Shira. You can smack right. that goblin up the face with your warhammer, going for another crit, I assume. I thought you were going to think it's smack my ass on the way, like, yeah, I'm ready. I mean, if you want to use your bonus action to smack her ass on the way, you absolutely can. That's your I mean, decision. I, abso I absolutely will, there is no question. <laughs> do you want to make, like, a, a d20 roll for, like... 
I, I will make a decent How effective it is. Okay, you, are you trying to smack it as hard as possible, or? 